it. Um, or maybe alumni, if you affiliate with an alumni chapter. Um, so she got it, but she already knew. <laughs> We started late because we were doing nominations for said fraternity. So here we are. Um, I'm glad you like stream layout beforehand on the countdown timer. Um, we're trying out chat box uh, here. We're trying out chat box because I realized when I export these things to YouTube, when I occasionally do export to YouTube, chat doesn't appear. And I know sometimes I speak rapidly when I'm reading chat, because I know y'all can read it, but when people watch it back on YouTube, they don't have chat to reference. So we're messing with it. We're gonna see how the opacity is. Um, I realize transparent is not the way to go, but <laughs> here we are. Sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> we were gonna do uh, Captain Adventure, uh, Captain Spirit tonight, but I figured because also meeting ran two hours over time, it was just easier to do this. Also, I created a new concoction. It is uh, cookie dough dip with brownie, under slightly undercooked brownie. So it's like a cake almost. Well, not really a cake. Almost like a hot fudge. Not afraid of a conversation I would do again. But here we are. Yeah. <laughs> I do have plenty to share, maybe. Buy me the ingredients and I'll make it. Um, so, uh, hi, my name is Aaron Gray, and we're back with Dong and Rampa 2. Um, we are currently in investigation mode inside Hope's Peak Academy in this Doki Doki Literature Club shit that's happening. Um, it's a fun time. <laughs> it, it's a really fun time. Mary! Hi, Mary. How are you? Did I tweet? I did tweet. All right. Did I post everything? Yes, I did post everything. All right. Here we go. Then what's happening in the outside world? My family, my friends, the convenience store I frequent, the nearby bookstore, my favorite restaurant. At least you put fan family and friends first before the convenience store I frequent. That's just so funny. I don't know why I find that hilarious, but I do. What's happened to them? No way! Oh god, I'm not ready for the Monokuma voice. Hey, hey, are you seriously yelling at a manga? How crazy of you. Who would enjoy reading something like this? Oh, this is the terrifying picture on it, isn't it? Wah -wah? Oh my, you don't like my manga? A high school student who doesn't like manga is like an office lady who doesn't like to eat candy. Enough. What is this messed up manga? <laughs> I thought you'd obviously know about such a horrible event that destroyed the world, but for you not to remember that, such despair. That's the Future Foundation's fault though, thanks to them stealing your school memories. The incident that happened during your period has completely removed from your brains. This incident really happened and I actually forgot about it? No shit, that's what he just said. That's, there's no way that's possible. What are you saying? How many times do I have to tell you? The clues here are, are all real. Hello. Please understand, I'm rooting for you. If 
you don't learn about the full extent of the outside world, you guys will suffer for it. I just want to help you guys so you can live well-adjusted lives in the outside world. Punt kick this man. I see, so that's how it is. That's what he meant by what he said at the beginning. Oh god, we need a flashback. Skipping, because we don't actually need that. Let's try and make us feel despair towards the outside world, so he will we'll want to stay on this island, but there's no way I'm going to do what he wants. Despair like that simply can't exist. The outside world should be filled with hope, just like now. Perhaps? No, that's definitely it. I hate that face. That face is just- that reminds me- that gives me Attack on Titan vibes, not gonna lie. Whether or not this incident really happened, what in the world is this ultimate despair group? Oh, that's gonna be the next manga, isn't it? If they're devoted to a certain student who guided Host Peak to its destruction, are they connected to both the tragedy and the tragedy of Host Peak? Plus, this organization isn't just one person, but a group of people. So if they're known as Ultimate Despair, they're high school students, right? Well, if they were actually able to do it, then I guess that's why they were called Ultimates. Then are the killings more involved and connected to them as well? It's no use. I'm going to freeze to death. I'm at my limit. I need to get out of here. Shivering, I ran out of the freezing room. Phew, that was close. I nearly froze to death. So where should I go next? Alright, while we're walking, I'm gonna take another bite of my wonderful concoction I have made. This is definitely Doki Doki Literature vibes. Alright, who else is around? Okay, 5B we can go into now. Baby? It died? What do you mean it died? What? Was my despair too high or some shit? I was so scared when that notification came up too. I was like, oh, what? <laughs> Okay, so here's my current prediction. So this, when I loaded the game, it says this is investigation. So after we learn about it, we're gonna have to do a class trial to basically, I think, determine or conclude if we leave or stay and who's behind everything. I think that's what's gonna happen. And like the Future Foundation is the same group of people who took away our memories in the first game. And I think the Future Foundation is actually the original six from the first game. So that would be Byakuya, Makoto. What the fuck is the Crystal Ball guy's name? I keep- I always forget his name. I always forget his name. Oh my god. What the fuck is his name? Um, well there's him. Hero. Hero. I always want- I want to call him Hajime, but Haj we're Hajime. Um, then there's Toko. Hina. And... Wait. Byakuya, Hiro, Makoto, Toko, Hina, Kyoko. I think they're the Future Foundation. So 5B we've not been into yet. Fuyuhiko's in here. Nice. No, I should ignore it. I'm just gonna pretend I didn't see him. Hey, Fuyu. What's up, man? Jeez. When I went inside this room, that bastard bear was suddenly here. I'm finally learning his voice. He keeps glancing at me. I wonder why. Hm. It's gonna be shitty either way. Damn right. So I'll let you handle it. There's no way I'm gonna deal with that idiot. I don't wanna do that either. Stop putting the bitch work on me, gang baby gangster. Why? Why are you be rude, man? Why is there why is there lion print on why is there zebra print on the walls? What? Hiya. Why, hello, Hajime. I hope you're doing pleasingly well. <gasps> are you pleasingly well? You're pleasingly well, right? What are you doing here? No, no! Well, there was another thing I needed to tell you on this floor. 
Tee -hee -hee. I got bored of drawing manga. Can you forgive me for telling you by word of mouth? You should have done that from the beginning. I didn't want to read your manga in the first place. Mm. A high school student who doesn't like manga is like a sumo wrestler who doesn't like eating hot pots. I'm getting really fed up with your babbling. Hurry up. What do you need to tell me? <laughs> it's about the key piece of information you've been waiting so long for. Surprise! It's about ultimate despair. I called it. I knew it would be at the ultimate despair. Hell yeah. I am big brain. I am... Hmm. This is what a two-hour fraternity meeting does to me, everybody. Huh? Hmm. <laughs> Even though the term ultimate despair refers to a group of these days, Actually, it was originally the title for a high school girl who was the most powerful, evil, and feared person alive. That would be Junko, right? That would be Junko, correct? A high school girl. Yes, indeed. Lady Junko in Enoshima. Hey. Um... As the former ultimate despair, she created despair, brimming. Why is that auto modded? Mary, can you uh, allow that in chat, please? Or wait, I can just, I can just alt tab. I forget I have alt tab. I forget alt tab is a thing. Um. <laughs> Enormous brain. Not in nugget. Yes. Uh, despair brimming with charm and humor, and created the ultimate despairs. <laughs> It was only really one horrible person in that career. Don't fuck with me! Hold on a sec. Stop. I don't know what the ultimate despairs are, but it's not that easy to form an organization. <laughs> I am the head of the Yakuza. I know what it's like to form an organization. <laughs> Probably too close to a bad word, I just realized. Maybe. It came up as identity, so I'm not sure what that means. Maybe? Sorry, I just bonked my microphone. There's no way people would join some fucked up organization created by a high school girl. Unbelievable. Humans who are obsessed with their philosophy have an uncanny power to attract others. It's a trait shared by many famous leaders throughout history, right? There's nothing strange about it. Actually, this is very true. I took a seven week leadership class, so this is very true. Hey, um... That holds true for Lady Junko. With her charismatic ability to attract people, she even influenced those in the highest echelons of power. Phew. Her connections were the main reason that incident became the tragedy in the first place. So she even recruited people who would have been in a position to neutralize that threat. Huh? Then what was their purpose? Huh? Like what I you. like I said. Why did they cause that incident? It doesn't even make sense. They had a purpose, right? There's no way they do that. They what they do without any purpose. Yeah, normally, like, as we've seen with, like, every trial, and also if you, like, look at everyday life, I've been watching too many true crime podcasts, by the way. Um, you kind of need a motive. Because, like, why would you commit something if you have no motive to do it, so? Hey! Um... Who's Junko Enoshima's despair? For Junko Enoshima, despair isn't about purpose, a set of principles, a way of life, or an instinct. Despair is what Jin is what defines Junko Enoshima as herself. What are you saying? <laughs> I'm a stuffed plushie, Hajime, as a human. It's exactly like that. <laughs> Junko Enoshima <laughs> is full of so much despair that she's truly hopeless. Living, dying, eating, loving for her, everything is despair. What the hell? <laughs> With her overwhelming force of personality, Junko recruited the ultimate despairs one by one. She controlled their despair by taking advantage of their love, hate, grudges, and anything, really. Junko's despair is far more dreadful than any other. That idea had been slammed right into their minds. <laughs> and so the ultimate despairs who have been recruited became nothing more than Junko's limbs. All despair, whether it was their own or anyone else's, was dedicated to Junko and Oshima. Like believers making offerings to their god. Like, mo like a mother providing food to her children. They decide. They dedicate all despair they could es so they could escape from despair all in Junko and Ishima's name. For example, Phew. they killed their families and friends and even destroyed their bodies through re relentless mutilation. I don't like that. And to hopelessly top it off, they completed 
they completely believed it was something that they had to do. There's no way something that crazy is possible, Hajime says. I should say that like an in I should just read him as an is an infomercial at this point. There's no way something like that crazy is possible. Just reading the most sarcastic tone of voice ever. Wah wah? Do you know about the final days of the reserve course students during the tragedy of Hope's Peak? Final days? In other words. Jinko has the power to change people's values. This is also true to famous people throughout history. Hey, what do you mean final days? What happened to the reserve department? Of course! They fulfilled their role as disposable limbs. They believed in what they needed to do. <laughs> and so the 2,357 students of the reserve department all committed mass suicide. I don't like that. What'd you say? All of them? <laughs> Oops, it wasn't all of them. One person is excluded. Is that us? Is that us? One person was excluded, huh? Is that me? Damn it! I don't believe it. There's no way I can believe this. Ultimate despair, Junko. <laughs> doesn't scare me at all. I mean, bastard! Junko Shima is already dead. Huh? She's gonna be fucking. That's gonna be Sonya, isn't it? It's gonna be Sonya, right? Alright, I'm gonna leave now. Bye. What does it mean? What is we who could know about that? Oh, we have to talk to him. Is, is it what you said true? Is she already dead? Huh? What? You didn't see? There was a book called Manga for Morns killing school life in that bloody classroom. Bloody classroom? No wait. What was that you said about the killing school life? Like the killings we were involved in, they were killings that happened at Hope's Peak. As I recall, the mastermind took her own life because the remaining students worked together to defeat her. Oh yeah, I remember that. Didn't she live? Didn't she live at the end of that? As I recall, the mastermind took... Oh uh, well, yeah. Like, yeah, that's what it was. The killing school life ended up failing in the end. As a result, the six students who survived managed to escape from the academy. Hey. For a manga about the killing school life, it was drawn for a lot of silly images of dumb gags. According to that, the mastermind behind that the failed killing school life was Junko. The mastermind took her own life, which means Junko and Shima is dead. Like... Turns out that killing school life was part of that whole biggest, most awful whatever incident. Junko took away the memories of former students of Hope's Peak and forced them to kill each other. Former students of Hope's Peak. And she took away their memories. That's just like us. Apparently the whole thing was being filmed by surveillance cameras and broadcast worldwide. There's no limit to being a cool asshole. Surveillance cameras were broadcasting the whole thing? So. Students of Hope's people were widely known as symbols of hope. By forcing people to watch these symbols of hope kill each other for the sake of survival, they were trying to fill everyone who watched the broadcast with despair all at once. That's messed up. Huh. But that means that's me that messed up plan was stopped. Junko and Mishima failed. Junko lost to the students and she placed in her trap, and after being overcome by despair she created, hm. she took her own life. Then Junko is no more. Mmm, he knows something. He is very sus. Hm. No matter how horrible she was, there's no reason to fear someone who's dead. Whether Monokuma's story is true or not doesn't matter. Bastard! Junko and Mishima isn't alive anymore. Then, who is our enemy? Junko's already dead, or the rest of the ultimate stairs behind this. But it follows Junko carrying out her will. That's the only thing I can think of. I mean, the killings were were involved in resemble that killing school life. <laughs> well, I don't know who the hell is imitating Junko and making us go through this, but <laughs> an imitation is just that. An imitation. No shit! If the students from Hope's Peak Academy stop the real deal, there's no way we'll lose to some fake. But if this is the really an imitation, are those surveillance cameras the same too? are all over Java Walk Island. Are they broadcasting somewhere, just like the surveillance cameras during the killing school life? <laughs> Man, Hajime, you totally know about that story, huh? What, do you have a problem with that? Well, I really wanted you to read the manga version since I took time to draw it. What are you gonna oh, do? Well, I'll just raise the flag. 
flag? What do you mean, raise the flag? What's going to happen if you do that? Ooh, one How set at a time. You're getting closer to clearing my character out. You're not making sense. Well, now. Now then, I'll give you guys my all. I'll tell you everything I know, including information on the outside and the inside. Yeah! I'll raise them flags like crazy. I'm concerned to leave this classroom. Fourth floor. We are in some weird... It changed a different hallway again. It's so sudden. What's going to make something like this happen? Now, I've already decided I'm not going to be surprised. That's right. There's no time for me to be surprised by something like this. Connie switching her nose like a beast and examining her surroundings. Hey, what's happened? Based on my gut feeling. Well, you know, it's my gut, but I feel like someone's getting closer. What do you mean? Who? So. I don't know. It's just my gut, after all. It's just my gut. Oh my god, Mini Mario. But still, her gut is pretty impressive. For some reason, it's strangely intuitive. Monokuma did say something about the main cast coming. Surprising, but her gut must be corrected again this time. What? Okay, so we can go into the music room. Mini Maru. Hell yeah. What is this? I can't read that. This looks like the music room. I feel like I could see something strange. Looks like it's some sort of monument. Why there be that in the music room? Just that mark is engraved with the monument, the symbol of Future Foundation. Below that symbol, there's a short passage. To combat the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history, the graduates of Hope Speak are among the many who established the Future Foundation. I was right! I'm like big brain. <laughs> Future Foundation is established by the graduates of Hope's Peak. Aren't they known as World Thunder? This is completely different. Monokuma has completely made it up. What is this? Words are floating in the air. This is like a hologram, right? Forming a sentence. Looks like a passage from an email. Regarding the report you gave to, we gave to you the other day, we have obtained information of a person who claims to be a survivor of Hope's Peak. Upon further investigation, there are a total of 15 survivors. You may be wondering about the number of people at this time. If they're survivors of Hope's Peak, it's possible they may be targeted by ultimate despair. We believe we should acquire them and place them in our care as soon as possible. They don't believe the group can go that far without Junko and Ashima rallying them. In a worst case scenario, it must prevent a repeat of the killing school life. Also, if, there are, if they are survivors of Hope's Peak, we should expect them to be quite valuable to us. However, we are still investigating the details of their origins and we haven't located them either. We will continue investigating this matter. Also, regarding a separate matter, we have received a report from a research facility on Jabberwock Island. Preparations have been completed. Seems we can proceed with the experimental phase of the Neo World program. Neo World. Oh, goodness. Survivors, 15 students, is that about us? Student Shiaki, who's part of the Future Foundation, there are definitely 15 of us, but what does survivors mean? It's like they're talking from some other world. What happened outside Jabberwock Island? If the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history is really true, then the world isn't normal anymore, maybe. I'm starting to feel like we might be better off not remembering the memories we've lost. <laughs> Guess that's all the clues. Future Foundation is on our side. They're founded by the graduates of Hope's Peak. They took us in to protect us. That's true, Chiaki should have made that clear to us. No, as long as Monokuma was around, she probably couldn't say anything carelessly. Monokuma, if he's the Future Foundation's enemy, then his true identity must be. The ultimate despair is who caused the biggest most tragic event in human history. The ones who are carrying out the will of Junko are making us go through this. Also, this caught my attention in email too. What is this research facility? What is that about? The only future foundation facility we found was that ancient ruin. 
there's no way that's the research facility. It's probably the fifth island sea, sea king corporation thing, most likely. I'm gonna take another bite of my brownie. If there really is a research facility on this island, there should be other future Foundation members here. Somehow, there are so, ma so many mysteries. this cutie okay oh we can go into the office <gasps> Kazu this is different from a classroom it said office on the outside you idiot Office, right? I mean, the room kind of has that stuffy teacher vibe to it. Hey, as a few going to be teacher at one point in my life, I am offended by that statement, Kazu. Bonk, bonk, bonk. The office, huh? Now that you mention it, it does look like that. It says on the placard outside the office. Kazu sus for being a dum dum. Yeah, he he is just a tad sus. I'm not sus at him right now, though. Well, more importantly, have you seen Miss Sonia? I don't see her anywhere. I'm sus of Sonia. I am sus of her. How much longer is this guy gonna be obsessed with Sonia? Give it up for me. Alright, hologram. Letters floating. Looks like a passage from an email. Guess I should read it. We understand this matter regarding the survivors. Kazu, don't you be playing us playing a soda boy i swear to god he's like my third favorite in this game i swear to god if all three of my babies die <laughs> we understand this matter regarding the survivors in order to safely acquire them please do your best and continue your investigation however you must exercise extreme caution concerning the rem remnants of despair even though they have lost junko the facts remain that they're still incredibly dangerous even after her death the tragedy has not ended Perhaps this is still there is still a leader on par who's Junko. As long as we do, do nothing about the remnants of despair, we will not be able to end this incident. For this reason, the remnants must be immediately eliminated once they are discovered. Everything is for the sake of a shiny future. Immediately eliminated? Why are you freaking out? You're not a remnant, dude. Calm the fuck down. Does that mean this is in order to kill them? This is how peaceful at all. Well, I guess that's understandable. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history is as terrible as it sounds. It's pretty much out an all-out war. If the remnants are the ones waging that war, then there's no way they'd be forgiven that easily. Alright, I guess I gotta talk to Kazu. This is bad. I mean... God. Huh? Glitch trap. Are you God. serious? There's something on the black. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, ultimate imposters listed. Oh, fuck. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Something written on the blackboard. What's written here? Got Hajime, Chiaki Kazu, Akane, Sonia Peko, Nagito, Gundam, haha, <laughs> baby. Ultimate Interposter, Mahiru, Mikan, Ibuki, Teru, Neko, Fuyuhiku. Buyakuya is not listed. And then Hyo Hyoko's like over here. What the fuck? No. Wait. Oh, so that does title up to 16. Wait. That does not look like Hyoko. What the fuck? That does not look like Hyoko. Joan the Blackboard just realized that our names I've seen before. It's all of our names, you idiot. That does not look like Hyoko. I mean, like, physically, that does not look like her. It's written there. What is this newspaper? Hyoko looks so much older. Oh my god. Did we get played by Hyoko? I mean, I wouldn't be fucking surprised. What is this? Or is this supposed to be Junko pretending to be Hyoko? This is Hyoko. That can't be the insane Hyoko, right? I mean, the Hyoko we knew. She was much smaller and looked more childlike. It's pretty much definitely her defining feature. But the photo in the newspaper, in a way, I can see the resemblance, but her height and figure is too different from the Hyoko we knew. What does this mean? Huh? This lady looks pretty mature. Is she Hyoko's older sister or something? No, it says Hyoko here. Uh. <laughs> then Hyoko has an older sister with the same first and last name. <laughs> Kazu! You dumb dumb! An older sister with the same first and last name? Bonk, bonk, bonk. Oh my goodness. I mean. That's the only explanation, right? I mean, look at, your s look at it for yourself. That's not Hyoko. But did you ever hear her mention of an older sister? Man. Well, it's not like I was that close to her or anything. Wrong! She doesn't have an older sister. Hyoko is the Saijinese family only daughter. Hmm. She doesn't have a sister than a relative. No, there must... There's still too much of a resemblance. What are you saying? That's Hyoko. Of course not! What are you saying? Hyoko doesn't have a curvy body like this. If she did, then Kazu probably would have been like... I mean, she's famous for her childlike figure. She's got she got with all kinds of crap for looking like that. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Maybe she had a growth spurt. What are you saying? We watched her die. She's already dead. There's no way that she could have had a growth spurt in the afterlife. <laughs> Today, I'm feeling white. Well, that's not okay. Well, regardless, all the clues I provided are true. If they weren't, it wouldn't be fair. What's going on? What the heck? This isn't the truth? If this is the truth, then, Hyoko in his newspaper. Is he really saying that this is the same person? That's impossible. I mean, how can a photo of a grown-up Hyoko when she's already dead? Why does this even exist? One of those sus, throw him out. Yep. Hey, hey! Could be related to that list of subjects over there? Huh? This is bad. It says subjects. Maybe it means they were kind of an experiment, right? Did that experiment change Hyoko's body? <laughs> oh, what am I saying? Just saying her legs may sound messed up. What experiment? If it's some kind of experiment, it would mean that we were also test subjects, right? I mean, our names were also written on the blackboard under a list of subjects. But what kind of experiment was it? What's going on? It's better not having anything to do with time travel. Game, are you hinting at something here? Also, list ultimate imposter. Can we not look at ultimate imposter? Are we not allowed to do that? I 
extremely overwhelming portraits hanging on the wall. I feel like I've seen it before, but the name is etched into a clock house said Izu Kamakura. Founder of Hope's Peak. The name. Doesn't this clearly contradict the information I've obtained earlier? Damn it, another mystery. <laughs> okay, with this, you totally raised all the flags on this floor. Congrats, Hajime. You shall go on to the next stage. Next stage? Uh, we're going down and I'm yelling timber. Third floor? Third floor. Third floor is my least favorite floor. It's so, it's so spooky. How there's different glitches on the screen. This always confused me. Why do we have electrical poles in here? Can't go into the art room. What? This place is a literal maze. Oh my god. What? Oh, Rakan. Sakura killed herself. Cry. Alright, there's two things in here. Billiards table, dartboard, shelf on with magazines. That's a death note? No. Alright. <coughs> Hologram again. What's this one say? Another email. I am so sorry that there's so much exposition. Regarding the report we gave to you the other day, we have finally succeeded in acquiring, acquiring them and placing them in our care. Though they were all dis dispersed, we were successful in acquiring all 15 of them. Due to the fact that we were unable to ask them about specific details, it is unknown how they managed to survive the tragedy. It's been reported that some are wounded, so it seems certain that they survived under harsh conditions. Over the course of our detailed investigation, we determined they are the same age as the others. We have decided to trust them to the survivors of the killing school life. As for the remnants, there are still no solid leads regarding this matter, and we have no new information to report. We will continue with the investigation. Once they are discovered, we shall eliminate them immediately. Everything is for the sake of a future filled with hope. They succeeded in acquiring them, and I placed them in our care. That means we should have been protected by the future foundation, right? Then why is this happening? If the future foundation is protecting us, why were we forced to kill each other on that island? Well, I guess it's not possible that the future foundation should have all this up. What's this? Oh my god, that makes no sense. My, my, Hajime, if you keep worrying like that, you're gonna get a toothache and collapse. That's not how toothaches work, though. But okay, whatever. It's your fault. What's this hologram thing anyway? Hey, um... That's exactly what it looks like. They're the Future Foundation's emails. I thought they, were ma they made the perfect clue, so I did a little ba bit of hacking here and there to get them. Ooh. Monokuma is Aiden Pierce confirmed? <laughs> you can even do that? Never controlling you since you just has many talents. No, no! Well, who goes around me anyway? And that's not important at all. Sure, then you should connect everything to what's happening right now. File of Hope's Peak seal on it. It's a confidential file. It means a big secret. Why would an important document be here? Why am I even asking a question like that? Obviously, Monokuma is responsible. Anyway, I need to confirm what's inside this file. About the Hope Cultivation Plan. For many years, Hope's Peak Academy has conducted rigorous research into various talents. The Hope Cultivation Plan seems to use the fruits of our labor to further our true goal. With our hands, we will birth a true hope. Now I'm just imagining Monokuma. Oh my god, please no. They'll bring hope to the entire world. 
Truly, the program is the next innovation in providing the ultimate education. <laughs> the ultimate educator, everybody. This plan has been the Academy's wish since its foundation, so we must succeed at all costs. What followed was a series of detailed instructions and intricate orders. It was full of different technical terms. I had no idea what any of them meant. However, the word true hope left a strong impression on my mind for some reason. The hope cultivation plan was created for the sake of birthing true hope. Hope's Peak Academy was behind something like that? I mean, they were researching talent, right? So it does make sense, right? <laughs> I don't really get it, but there's something about these words. True hope, huh? What? Looks like I'm in a different hallway again. Pretty much used to it now, but so what is this space? I mean, this is totally disconnected from reality. Akane, you good, man? It smells... It's close. It's very close. Someone is coming. Akane's twitching her nose and examining her surroundings. I am very concerned with what's going to happen. Based on my gut feeling... They're definitely really close. At least that's what my gut is telling me. Then answer this with your gut. Is it an enemy or an ally? Hmm. Let's see. My gut feeling is... Yeah. They're both. Uh, Mini Maru, you were. Are you her gut? Yeah. He's right. They're both. Both? What do you mean? You. I don't know any details. It's just my gut, after all. Well, that's true, I guess. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? Oh, we're on second floor. There's this hallway. Oh, it's a library. At least this room is, like, kind of normal. So it's supposed to be a library. Wow. Wonderful detective skills. Hajime is the ultimate sleuth. Everybody. The ultimate observer, everybody. Something in here too, I should probably find it. All right, so. I know it's definitely that, but I... Is that it in here? Just this? Hologram. Must be another one of Future Foundation emails. To Future Foundation 14th Division, Makoto Naiki. <laughs> Ultimate Sherlock. Makoto makes an appearance. Hell yeah! Pro tag of the first game. Best, one of the best boys of that game. Could not do anything wrong. <laughs> but I prefer, let's go Makoto. Hi Osiris, how are you? Okay, tell him Naiki. <laughs> I can't wait for the sass. Where are you guys? What are you doing right now? What are you doing? This is what you're doing what you're doing is a serious act of treason do you understand why are you protecting the remnants of despair <gasps> oh my god did makoto turn into fucking uh nagito is that what we're talking is that what's happening it should be abundantly clear that you to tell you how dangerous it is to keep these people alive stay calm and think about this carefully you guys are being lied to Think carefully about what's important to bring the light of hope to the world. I'm, I feel like Byakuya is the one saying this. The six of you joined the Future Foundation because you agreed to our ideals, right? Future Foundation rescued you from the tragedy you survived and cooperated with recovering your memories. Okay, I guess it's not... Um, I guess it's not Byakuya telling this. We only return the remnants of despair to our headquarters. Unless we eliminate them, the tragedy will never end. Everything is for the sake of the future filled with hope. What does this mean? This email suggests that someone is trying to let the remnants of despair escape. This email addressed to Makoto Naegi. 
But he's at the Future Foundation, right? Then why is he trying to protect the remnants? Did he betray the Future Foundation? We are still upside down. Lovely. Oh. Game literally lagged on me for like a hot minute. Um, this is, I didn't walk into a classroom. I don't really get it. This looks like a laundry room. This looks like a table computer. Looks like it's powered on. Is the game actually supposed to be glitching? Is this the next clue? I picked up the table tablet and immediately started examining it. Neo, we're all programmed. Bing bong, bing bong. This word Neo World. Yeah, we've heard it already. New World Program has another name. Game, why are we glitching? Boring school though, right? People can wash their stuff, Hajime. Psychotherapeutic Communication Simulator. That's a fancy name. New World Program is built with the most recent psychotherapy technology and administrative software. Oh, is this what was used to regain our memories? Is this the reason? Is this the thing? Is this the thingy thing? Oh god, the game does not like me at this moment. To develop the near world program, individuals such as the ultimate programmer, the ultimate neurologist, and the ultimate therapist, ultimate programmer, were among the many talented people who res whose research results was utilized. By mounting a device to the cranium, the near world program allows its subjects to experience a synthetic virtual world. Is that what we're in right now? Additionally, the Neo World program has another feature. And my game froze. It can replace memories formed in the real world with information contained in the synthetic virtual world. Therefore, it is possible to undo trauma sustained in the real world through the use of the virtual world. However, this device is for psychotherapeutic purposes only. Any other use is extremely forbidden. Though it is highly effective in treating brainwashing, abusing the device risks total personality destruction. The Junie has arrived. Hi, Junie! How are you? We're, uh, learning. Lots of exposition in preparation for the last class trial. Thus, extreme care must be exercised when operating this program. Okay. So, I'm sure, I think they're in a computer program right now. Because this is why this shit is going haywire. And I think this is how they use the program to erase their memories. Good, how about you? I am kind of slowly eating cookie dough dip and brownie at the same time. While trying to do a shit ton of reading. Something fun. Slowly, everything around me turned black. Synthetic virtual world program. Feeling of emptiness like everything was being tainted. Feeling of weakness like the world is collapsing beneath my feet. Mm, yes, yum indeed. I love how the text is black on my screen. I should really change that later. Everything is starting to feel meaningless. Those desperate attempts to sad goodbyes, the conflicts, the trust I felt up until now. It's all disappearing until all I feel is despair. Ah! Scream now 
Sally as if I was confirming the sound of my own voice. There's no way I can accept this. That's sounds young. <laughs> That's cool. Wait, what's cool? What is what is the cool? I'm starting to accept that. My game keeps glitching. No, it's cool because it's like we are lost in the Neo World program. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this, there's no way something as crazy as this actually exists. Nice! You gotta raise that the flags more in order to clear, to clear my character route. <laughs> now the despair is waiting for you. <laughs> Fuck you. Possible. This is impossible. It's all made up. Everything is all made up. Made up? Including me too? We are... Hajime is having a huge character crisis. Where am I going now? Hiya. How you? Oh, I'm gonna read this because this is gonna be a meme, right? By the way, do you guys remember the speech I made in the beginning? No. From this point, I promise you, the world is truly deserves to be called a game. Hoo hoo hoo. You guys are the only ones watching this who can save them. The end of the world is nigh. What you gonna do? What's gonna happen? Isn't it exciting? Isn't it heart throbbing? Look forward to it. <laughs> this hallway. When I first arrived here, I walked down this hallway from the classroom to get to the gym. Oh, this is trippy as hell. Who gave us the acid? Who? Don't really see a resemblance, but... Oh, add time? Add time while my game decides to freak out on me? Okay. Resemblance, but... Where am I going? Sonia, hi. Well, are you familiar with the placebo effect and the nocebo effect? Yum acid, no ocher is bad. I am familiar with the former, not the latter. That's my game glitches. Huh? <laughs> The placebo effect is when your health improves after taking a fake medicine that you believe is real. And the nocebo effect is the exact opposite. Which means as long as the human brain controls all other bodily functions, <laughs> if the brain believes something is real, it will become real. Acid time. But don't do, ki don't do kids drugs. Oh my god. Why would you bring that up all of a sudden? Huh? Oh my. Um... I am not sure. I do not fully understand. What the heck? Oh, you- you're sus. Oh god, Makuma, what do you want? <laughs> the moment you discover that the truth is a lie, all hope will disappear. <laughs> What, why is there a monolith here? Is this floating? That's impossible. There's no way something like that big would be floating. It's an Xbox! <laughs> oh my god, that's too good. Well, what in the world is it? It's, a fu it's the fucking monolith from Space Odyssey. <laughs> Oh, yeah, the model. What is it? And the moment I looked at the object. Oh, is it a door? <gasps> Chihiro? <laughs> it's Chihiro, baby! Welcome. Welcome to the Neo World program. A one not series. <laughs> a one not a series X. Person? Floating person is talking to me. Who is it? 
No, is this even a person in the first place? Um, I'm not quite a person. I'm simply an artificial intelligence program. It would make me happy if you called me Alter Ego. That is the name my master gave me when he created me. Oh, I'm happy. Very. <laughs> okay, now I know for future reference to make chat box have a background. But do you think chat is in a good place on the screen? Let me know your thoughts. It can talk. But what are you? <laughs> Baby! Alter Ego, artificial intelligence program. I... Baby! <laughs> I am the master program behind the Neo World program. Oh, because ultimate programmer. Chihiro is the ultimate programmer. I'm responsible for creating and overseeing this world. I knew it. I knew we were inside the Neo World program. However... Only the Observer has the authority to direct the influence you guys. I can't actually exert much influence. In fact, my existence is one that you don't normally meet. I'm sort of like an apartment manager or something. Alpha real. <laughs> Alpha real. Chat is in such a is such a good place right now. Doing workouts and eating well. It's every reason. <laughs> so, so <laughs> Yo, Fedora, that's so funny. Alpha real, but soft. Soft alpha. Soft, soft, hold soft, hold softly. I may oversee the entire apartment building, but I lack the power to manage individual rooms. But the virus has infected everything. I'm not supposed to be managing. And because of that, this world of managing is acting very peculiar. Well, hold the phone. My brain can't follow what you're saying. Let me gather my thoughts first. Damn it, it's the feeling from earlier again. This floating, floating like a. Like, my feet are hovering above the floor. It's like I can't feel my feet on the ground. It's like I can't even believe my own existence. Hey, you should know, right? Where is this place? Tell me, where? what is the Neo World Program? The Neo World Program has admitted the data collection procedure for shaping the entire world. As such, only the data we collected during the experimental stage is being utilized. Specifically, that means the da de data detailing Java Rock Island, where this research facility is located. That is why the previous Dragon Rock Island cityscape was restored. Ergo, if I'm to answer your question, what is the, where is this place? The answer would be mostly Jabberwock Island. And certain portions of it are different pe depending on the circumstances. For example, the school you're in. It appears the space is entirely under the virus's influence. That's probably why I'm appearing before you too. However, even without the virus, these circumstances are a bit unnatural. It seems the loss is rushed. Because of that, there wasn't enough time to collect any data. I'm sorry. I don't really know the circumstances of the outside world. After all, I'm simply the overseer of the Neo World, Neo World program. Most of its words. I understood what they meant, but I couldn't understand what was being said. There is no way to me acknowledge it as the truth. It would make much more sense if it was a fict fictitious world. Wait, are you saying this world is a fic fictional world? I would love an AI like all that. Yes! I want Alter Ego as an AI. Or Alpha. Or North or York. That, that's also fine. Same plus. <laughs> Please need it. I feel, I feel like I can't believe what's going on here. I'm missing the sense of reality. All the mysteries, all the truths. They're all just fiction. Is that... Even so, I need to know. I need to know what this world is. Hey, can you tell me? Hey, can you tell me? What was the Neo World Program used for in the first place? The Neo World Program only serves one purpose. It is used to make the real world a splendid one. I guess you could say, it's a program for creating hope. A program for creating hope. But, the fact we're here, and the fact we don't have our memories, that's not the program's fault, right? Deleting memories is the first step towards replacing memory. Replacing memory data is one of the features of the Neo World program. With the install memory control unit, it is possible to remove any time period you set it to. This is like very crazily future tech. And from there, we upload the memories obtained in the virtual world. Removing 
memories of any time period you set it to. So Monokuma was right. We did lose our school memories. But why? Why us? Why were our school memories taken away? There's a reason for that, right? That is a mystery to me, too. Booting the program on the survivors of Hope's Peak while it's still in experimental stage, I'm sure there's a very good reason. But unfortunately, I don't know what's happening in the outside world. I'm sorry. I'm saying we're lab rats? Heh! <laughs> rats. Rats in chat, please. That's the only way I can think of. It just sounds like we're lab rats. Future Foundation did that to us? Th that... They're trying to save the world, right? Or is the Future Foundation not our ally? Rat. <laughs> I'm... I'm sorry. I can't provide that much help. If only I were more reliable. No, Alter Ego, it's okay. I hold you so dearly. God, you did nothing wrong, sweet child. I wouldn't have lost my authority to a virus like this. All these new words make my head feel like it's about to burst. Can you tell me more about the overseer in that virus? Well, in this session, the Neo World program was programmed to house 15 people along with two monitors. Two monitors. Yeah. They're all disguised as a teacher and one of the students. Oh, so the virus is Monokuma. They were intended to guide the participants in this way. By the way, the observer in the teacher role has been given the authority to influence you all. But the observer in the student role was not. They were given any special they weren't given any special authority at all, so they seemed the same as everyone else. What kind of authority does the teacher role have? So the teacher is Monami. As I said, well, the teacher creates the rules of this world and manages them. If the teacher is properly managing the rules they created, there is no risk of abuse. But because of the virus infecting everything, that has changed. It changed this world where violence shouldn't have existed in the first place. The Neo World program wouldn't would have promised eternal peace. But just like the outside world, it's become a world filled with violence and death. What is that virus? I don't really know the details behind its true identity, but that function is beyond my capabilities. No matter how much I try to stop it, it behaves as if it already knows what I'm attempting to do. In the end, it stole the portion of my abilities which contain my authority to build the world. Oh, so that's Monami's magic stick. So without her magic stick, her ability to change the rules and alter and influence, she couldn't do anything. Interesting. It was like, it was like grandfather, grandmaster chess player. I desperately tried to fight back so it wouldn't have complete control. Even so, so the Near World program was kind of like the arc from Soma. I don't know. I've never played Soma. <laughs> Portion of the world has been modified at its convenience. She's probably talking about Monokuma Rock and the Fun House. Based on what she's saying, it sounds like she's on the receiving end of a one-sided attack. Her alter ego should have should be an impressive artificial intelligence that the Future Foundation created. I can tell just by communicating with her. Which means the supposed virus is so smart that it suppresses its alter ego. If so, does that virus possess? An artificial intelligence looks like her. Damn it, what the heck? An artificial intelligence waging an attack against another one. That's so freaking irritating. But how did that virus infect the Neo World program? The Neo World program exists in isolation. It's pos it's impossible when it was infected through a network. I'm fairly certain someone physically uploaded to it. Physically. Mm. Aiden Pierce. On the on the dot. Perhaps someone secretly brought in an external memory drive containing the virus into the facility and directly uploaded it into the main computer where the Neo World program is installed. Based on my calculations, that's most likely what happened. It was brought to the Future Foundation's facility. But the only person who could enter that facility is someone who's a member of the Future Foundation. Damn it, what am I thinking? Why am I assuming that what I just heard is the truth? Game glitch. Why am I assuming that everything's a lie? Ah, but... It's sure that the virus 
this is powerful, and I'm completely overwhelmed by it. I'm still able to defend the essential areas. So it has a limit, too. Limit? If it took over an observer, then it has to follow the rules of an observer. Um, such as... In order to end the program and release everyone, I need to follow the correct procedure and... Hey! Come on now! Okay, even if you're just a god in the machine, that's enough hints from you. You're gonna say something more. Suppose you're ex you exist between life and death. The death of yourself is inevitable. If so, it could be a parallel to... The delusion based on definitions of existence that constitutes relationship. From there, the paradigm... Change... I'm not gonna read this in his voice anymore. Change results by being cut off rapidly and cause a situation where your own existence is unobservable and... Accelerates and cross within the joint ownership of the world in the situation with the context invites your... Death, 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 death. Lots of death. So much death. Hey? Death, death. More death. Lots of death. This is definitely giving me Doki Doki literature vibes. Oh my god, he is uh, inverted. I had to agree with play Doki Doki. What? <laughs> death for the death, death. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna take. Wait, I don't want brownie. I want. Uh, whatever this is. Cookie dough. My boy. Wait, is that Makoto? Is that Makoto? Can someone control out delete Monokuma? Yeah, he's having a rough time right now. What just happened? <laughs> I was just about to ask if this is Doki Doki. No, it's not. <laughs> I have it in the ch Doki Doki beats Dong Rapper who gave Ajime the strong acid. How are you doing, Aaron? You're right there, aren't you? Someone is right there, right? Huh? Who are you? Are you different from the earlier one? Maybe he can't hear my voice from this side. I'm currently talking to the world through Alter Ego. Ever since you guys vanished into that space, the view of feedback has been pretty distorted. Even so, we were forced to watch you this entire time. It is Makoto. Things you guys were forced to do. We were forced to watch. I'm good, how are you? I am good. I have cookie dough dip and brownie. And this is most likely Makoto speaking to us, which is fine. Um, we are definitely tripping. <laughs> it is definitely happening. Um, the things you guys were forced to do, we were forced to watch it. Forced to watch us. I forget what Makoto's voice sounds like. Why is your game stuttering? I have no clue. I don't know. I have no idea. I'm assuming it's part of the gameplay. Because, like, my bitrate is fine, knock on wood, and my computer is not hot, so it's not like my computer's overheating or anything. I really want to save you right away, but because of the virus interference, I couldn't. Our orders are no longer being accepted, including shutdown requests. thought the game starting was intentional. Yeah, that's the vibe I'm getting. New world programs beyond our control now. In that world, that person created an independent country that doesn't accept outside interference. To eco create an opportunity for me to speak to you directly. It means that's working. Then it means that the person I need to talk to is right there. I hope. Looks like this guy can't even hear me or see me. Just who is this guy anyway? Is he our ally? Very cool. He sounds kind of like Hajime. Yeah, they sound kind of the same. Since there's no time, I'm going to say what I need to say and believe you're there listening to me. But first, I should apologize to everyone. No apologizing will help, but we didn't imagine something like this would happen. We never expected such an atrocious virus to be lurking inside the Neo World program. That's entirely our fault. It's our responsibility for not realizing it until it's too late. 
but that's just not the virus either. I can't say for sure that the program didn't have any problems in the first place. To tell you the truth, I was unsure about whether or not to run the program on you guys, but this was the only way to save you all. I wanted to save you guys. Save us? What do you want to save us from? Why would this save us? You've already seen the password to enter the graduation exam room, right? You know, 11037. Leon! It's the password we found at Nezumi Castle. The door to the ancient room was supposed to open after you finished gathering the hope fragments. Game Southern. Sorry. From there, you guys are supposed to challenge the graduation exam. However, I prepared that password just in case something went wrong. Like I said earlier, I had my doubts that this program was perfect. Even if the chances were slim, I thought these were my end of going rogue. That's the reason I left the 11037 password in a place where the teacher role would not be able to go. Ah! This is the mice. Never thought Nagito, who saw it first, would erase the password. Anyway, I'm also the person who set the password to that number. That number contains a secret. Someone close to me left that number to save me when I was in a dilemma. <gasps> it's Makoto! It's Ace Makoto! Ugh. Babies. I need to replay the first game and do uh, achievements. Can you understand what I'm trying to say? I'm trusting that that will to you all. I'm entrust I've entrusted it to your future. But that person is trying to abuse the graduation exam. I'm sure they're going to crush you with despair. I'm using the graduation exam that's waiting for you. Uh, so that's the last class trial. I want you guys to endure it without giving up on hope. I want you guys to withstand it until I get there. Because he's the ultimate hope. Because I have the secret to defeat them. Does that mean he has a secret plan to defeat Monokuma? In a worst case scenario, to an overseer who has the role of a teacher goes rogue, I've heard a hidden command to use at the graduation exam site. It's the force shutdown sequence. Force shutdown. Even a teacher authority can't stop that command. It's a way to end this so you guys can choose on your own independently of the observer. The observer is the the word observer gives me very much Tribe 12 vibes. If you're familiar with uh, online ARGs in the Slenderverse, I can't believe I said that. Oh my god. Which means if they stole the teacher's authority, they shouldn't be able to stop it. If you use that, you guys will win. However, in order to start that full shutdown sequence, you need more than half the number of people in order to do that. And somehow to get that number. Key smash! Love a good key smash. Let's get some key smashes in the chat, everybody. Death, death, death. Bye, Makoto. Love you. Is he still saying death? Hmm? Hell yeah, my man be key smashing. <laughs> oh, Cyrus, I believe, was the one who taught me key smash. Say what? What was that just now? Mm -hmm. Hey, Azume, what was that weirdness just now? Nothing, really. Just my game glitching. Nothing to be concerned about. Hmm. I see. Anyway. Oh, well, anyway. That's all the hints you're gonna get. If that no good artificial intelligence tells you any more useless stuff, <laughs> I'm gonna put it in. <laughs> Did Makin not notice what just happened? It's been a while since I've spoken at length, but it was important to talk to you. It was worth waiting a long time here. Hey, about that guy just now. There shouldn't be anything else for you to ask me. I see. Too bad if Monokuma overheard us. That mean, Monokuma doesn't know about the conversation I had with that guy. You guys have a weapon. A very powerful weapon. Makoto and Ori like GLaDOS in Portal 2. Yeah. It all depends on how you guys use that weapon. It's the only thing I can do is prevent the virus's invasion with all my might so you guys can use that weapon. The rest is all up to you. Do your best. Do our best, huh? But what do we have to do our best at? The mystery get is getting solved and we're finally starting to see the truth. But what are we supposed to do when that truth is really a lie? We know we're working toward a conclusion that nobody wants to hear. But still, do we really need to work hard and do our best? Is there really a reason to do our best? If everything was a lie, then isn't everything just meaningless? It's the same for the killings, too. Even though we had to experience something as painful as that, something as tragic, wouldn't that all be meaningless, too? 
when the world is flipped over and becomes so irrational. What am I supposed to do? Flash trial time! Um, so, uh, I'm getting tired of waiting. Shall we just plunge right in? It's time for the long-awaited graduation exam! Game, please. Please enter the red door located on the first floor of Hope Speak Academy! <laughs> See you soon! The red door. It's just a waste of time to think about what all this means now. For now, I need to finish this. I'm gonna focus on that. It means this red door, right? Can I just go in here? If I do that, will this be finished? Oh god! Oh, I can't even... This place. Shovel <laughs> seven music intensifies. <laughs> Yo, looks like everyone's here. Apparently, the stuttering isn't supposed to happen. Oh, interesting. Damn right. Seems that this is going to be the final place. However, this place is. Is this a trial field? But why is it a trial field? Oh, except this. Um, we've been here before, right? Yeah, this should be the place that the door at the ancient ruins leads to. Hey. Seems pretty strange. Why is my game stuttering? Maybe it might be all the graphical effects. Maybe? I don't know. You know, they're building up till now. Damn it. It's like we're dreaming or something. This is a dream, then this too is very... Welcome! So, you finally arrived. Congratulations, you guys are the first ones to ever beat this game. <laughs> After stopping by Hope's Peak, you finally come back to this place. Yeah, is there anything eating my memory? Ah, oh, fuck. To the graduation exam site within the ancient ruins of Jabberwock Island. You. We could give it a fancy name like graduation exam site, but it's no different than the trial ground from before. Stupid fool! Phew! This trial field actually inspired the one from before, so in a way, this place is the original. Hey, hey! Who cares? This graduation exam means we can finally go home, right? Of course! If that's what you guys decide. Huh? If we have to decide, what do we have to do? Now then! Please take a look at the LCD touch screen. Um, hit touch panel built into your seats. Compared to the other trials, the rules are much simpler this time. Yes, indeed. The two options are graduate and repeat. Right? You just have to choose one of them and press it. All will you cast your vote, and whichever one has the majority will be considered your final decision. Oh, so we do have to argue against one another to figure out if it's best to leave or not. If you don't press either of them, it will be treated as an absence and will not be counted. In other words... Which means everyone who has decided up until now will have their votes treated as absences. Then... Then the result is based on our majority vote. Hmm... Ahem. If graduate is chosen by majority vote, from there, an event that's kind of like a graduation ceremony called the graduation program will begin. I don't understand why my game is stuttering. <laughs> Even if we do the stupid majority vote, the result is already pretty damn obvious. Come on, let's move this along. We can press it now, right? No, no, no! You can't do that yet. Mm. I mean, your resolve hasn't firmed yet, right? 
Your will to be swept away by society's harsh currents. Shut up! Shut up! Who the hell cares? I'm gonna press it. What's this? My, my, which of your orifices are you using to spew bile? But spin the graduation, we're gonna need my final say as your teacher, you know. What does that mean? Does that mean it won't end with just a majority vote? Game, please. That's right! After the vote, I'm gonna judge every single one of you to see if it's okay for you to graduate or not. Damn it! Soon if we vote, if you're saying we won't graduate unless you acknowledge it. Wow. Yeah, I don't know why the game is stuttering. I've never had this issue before. Ever. With streaming either one or two. It only happened when we got to, like, the glitchy shit. Um... I'm terribly sorry for being rude earlier. No way! But you don't have to worry. There's no reason I won't acknowledge your graduations. This is merely a formality. I'm just doing it because that's how it has to be. Just doing it because it's how it has to be. Does it not mean he can exert his will over everything? He too has a limit. This is what Alter Ego is talking about. Anyway! Even if you don't want to do it, you guys still need to do it to solve the mystery. Afterward, you're cast of majority votes. And from there, we move on to the graduation program. <laughs> but why do we have to go something so, something so dumb? Hmm. Oh, well, that is... You said you're waiting for the main cast, right? Hmm? Which means you're just stalling for time, then. <laughs> Who's the main cast? Hmm. Oh, no need to worry about it. It has nothing to do with you guys. That is... There is no way it has nothing to do with us. We're the only ones who are involved, you know. So annoying. It doesn't matter if you're involved or not. You're just a bunch of chumps in the big picture. That's why it has nothing to do with you. Just perform your roles without complaining. Could be a coding issue. It's a 2012 game, so coding was trying to move on to the next generation. A lot of games have quite a few issues. It could be. Um... You pissed me off. Hold on. What's with that chump comment? I can't ignore that! Oh my god. Ah, that's not important or anything, but make sure you turn off that toy. I won't forgive you. How dare you treat him like a toy? What's this? I did treat him like a toy. You got a problem with that? I created everything. God. <laughs> You're actually picking a fight with me? I'm basically a god. Just how promising can you guys be? I guess it's just the nature of life. <laughs> yeah, tell him, Minimaru. <laughs> Fine then. Before you die, sear my power into your memories. Oh god, where are we going now? Yeah. Save. Um, so, uh, what would y'all like to know <laughs> about my thoughts? Because I'm pretty sure I've been pretty open about what I think, what's going to happen, I think. I'm going to start the trial. And if it's still stuttering, I'm gonna end stream. So. No, 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 don't change the music. I did say I wanted you guys to know the outside world, but this is still a questionable starting topic. Yup, it's still stuttering. We wigging out. All right. What do you mean we wigging out? Like the game is still stuttering. So. Let me see, can I go back to main menu? I can go back to main menu. Let me try this. Let's see what's going right here. Nope, it's still stuttering. I 
I did say I wanted you guys to know the outside world, but this is still a questionable starting topic. Um... I really don't want it stuttering the entire time. Yeah, game really just went T. It really just went T. Hold on. Resolution change. Okay. Probably don't want to do that. But let me try it. I can't do that unless if I exit out of the game entirely. Ooh. Yeah, let me restart. Let me quickly flip to tea time. Hey, everybody. Uh, I updated this layout as well. All right. Just so, like, you don't have to see a blank screen as I try to figure shit out. <laughs> H. <laughs> All right. Let's do this. All right. Video options. Okay. Let's try 1280. Windowed. Do I want VSync? Is VSync. Do I need VSync? Is it just going to take away the effect? Man. Man, <laughs> man moment. Do I want VSync? That is the question of the hour right now. What the hell is VSync? I don't even know what that is. Hi, Rachel. So. Okay. So we're currently having uh, technical issues with the game. So we're trying to see. Wait, do those settings keep? Those settings did keep. Okay. Oh, God. This resolution is so fucking tiny. This resolution is so goddamn tiny, guys. Um. <laughs> okay, let's flip back here. It's so tiny! Oh god, let's not move chat. We need to move this and make it big <laughs> can you screen tear your vertical lines on the screen I changed it to 1280 by 720 my monitors are 1980 by something <laughs> so it's so tiny on my screen it's so sad so it's still, I don't know why it's doing this. Cause it's the game. It's the game doing this. I don't understand. Do I have something active in the background that's like causing, I might wait until next week. Cause I don't know why this is doing this. It honestly shouldn't be. And it's really annoying. So, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call it here. So I have been streaming for like an hour and 40. So like we did get a good chunk of like lore done, which I think is good. Um, and I'll try to dick around with it and try to see what the problem is. And also I'll fix chat to make sure it has a background. <laughs> Um, but thank y'all for joining me tonight. I know we started late, but meeting got out late. 
So, um, be sure to follow on the Discord. Discord link should be somewhere down there. Um, or on my social medias as well. And we'll continue with Danganronpa on Friday. And hopefully I won't chicken out and do something else on Sunday. Um, but, yeah. Thanks for hanging, and I'll see you around. No, it's okay. It's okay. I'll be saving it as a... Um, I'll be saving it as a VOD, as a highlight later, so you can watch and catch up, because it, it gets pretty trippy a little bit. Um, but have a good night, everyone. I'll see you on Friday. Have a fantastic week. Bye.